Joss Whedon is also canceled now. He is the co-writer and the producer of this film. Why is he canceled? What did he do? Uh, he's just an asshole to people. <laughs> no, really, I think I, I don't think there was anything specific about him being. I, well, it's weird because he his ex wife tried to get him canceled, like kind of in the early days of the post Weinstein era. Okay, and her reasoning was that he cheated on her, and then I think people kind of collectively looked at that and said like. I mean, that sucks, but that's not really what we're trying to do with this canceling people, right? <laughs> you know, it's it's kind of like like a lot of people cheat. But then a few <laughs> But then a few years later, more information came out oh, that like on the set of Buffy, he apparently in his writers' rooms was just awful to women and he liked making them cry at their writers' meetings and stuff like this. And then also there was, like, some weird stuff about some of the actresses that worked on his shows, were, which they, they were, like, told, told like, stay away from him, he's a creep. Like, there was oh, no. a, an actress that was, like, a 16-year-old girl um, when, when they started shooting Buffy, and she had, like, something in her contract to, like, <laughs> never be in the room with him alone or something. So it's like, yeah, oh, just weird God. stuff. Joss Whedon. <laughs> Is a terrible person, but I wanted to bring up, and this is it's a long time coming for us to actually get to the Gavin in the Woods, but my favorite Joss Whedon trivia or whatever of is he he had a big magazine feature after he was canceled. This was supposed to be like his kind of comeback, his defense, if you will, mm-hmm. and a lot of it was 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 that, but then a lot of it was just so much weirder. Okay, and there was something, and apparently this has been said before but i remember reading this article this is his defense and it seemed to almost imply that when he was a five-year-old kid he like murdered a neighbor or something it was very strange what, <laughs> what? when it, when he was a kid there was there <laughs> was a there was an when he was a kid there was a neighbor kid that used to come over to their house and then one day he was found drowned in like joss whedon's family pond or something and, and this article that i was reading which was issued by Joss Whedon's PR team, did not make any effort to say Joss Whedon didn't do it. It was the strangest thing ever. What? And I hope someone out here who's listening knows what I'm talking about or, or can find that article and read about it because it was very strange. I but... I think I've just found the article. Okay. Uh, well. <laughs> all it says is, it's titled, Joss Whedon finally has something to say. Yeah, that's probably it. I don't remember that. I mean, I read this a few years ago. Yeah, I'm just scrolling through to try to find this him murdering his neighbor story. But yeah, yeah so everyone hates Joss Whedon now. Uh, everyone loved him for a while. I never really did. I never saw Buffy, but I just like I've seen Joss Whedon in interviews, and he just seems like really smug, like Wait, hold, asshole. <laughs> hold up, guy! Can, can I pause you there for okay. a second? What's what's that? <laughs> I, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to stop laughing. <laughs> okay. Did you find the the murder story? Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna read you this little paragraph. When he was five, this is because this is becoming like a conspiracy theory podcast now because we were ta- <laughs> I was talking about Chevy Chase murdering someone <laughs> last week. <laughs> yeah, let's roll with it. So uh, it says, when he was five, a four year old boy, the son of family friends, disappeared on his parents' property upstate. <laughs> Eventually, his body was found. He had drowned in the pond. Years later, <laughs> as a teenager, Whedon remembered he had called the boy over to the pond to play with him. After getting bored, he had walked away, leaving the boy alone by the water. I didn't think it was my fault, Whedon said. I knew I was five, but it just doesn't. But, but it doesn't. But it doesn't just disappear as a thought. It took him another thirty years, he said, before another thought dawned on him. Even after the incident, his parents never taught him to swim. There was no structure, he said. There was no safety. And that's the end of the quote. Oh shit! You're murdering children. On yeah, your you called a friend There's over no and drowned him. You piece of shit. That's yeah. why you're canceled. Allegedly. Yeah, well, it, the, the weird part is that's not why he was canceled. 